Good morning, class. Um, we'll briefly look at the virtual private network. In fact, uh, uh, some of you have already covered about virtual private network in the uh, present during presentation. Okay. So let us see why we need VPN or why why VPN was introduced. Okay. So um, as in when the network was growing or network was introduced in the in the market there there were partners okay business partner that worked with the organization or the company so when the business partner when they had to um access the confidential information okay from the company or organization this business partner okay they they uh the information that when they access the uh, information which is important or confidential to the organization has to be secured when whenever the business partner access the information or it can be either the branch offices okay the the organization may have office okay located at different location so it can be either your branch offices or the business partner who wants to access the confidential information of the organization. So in order to protect the information, the confidential information, okay, so prior to VPN, list line were used. This list line were a private um, telecommunication. In fact, it is a point-to-point -point, um, connection that is uh, uh, created between the uh, business partner and the organization or the branch office and the organization or the headquarters of the organization. So for example, in this, uh, in this figure, uh, the, the organizations have, okay, let's say for example, two branch offices, okay? So prior to VPN, in order to connect this uh, branch office with the headquarter, a list line were used which is a point-to-point -point connection okay and then similarly the branch two also has to be connected to um headquarter okay point to point and if okay branch two wants to communicate with the branch one or the branch one wants to communicate to branch two then or or let's say for example if all of this one okay headquarter branch office one or branch office two wants to communicate okay or access the information like they are in one network okay then you need to connect another point to point connection between the um branch offices okay let's say for example there's another branch offices okay the, the uh, organization decided to open another branch office office in different location then what happens okay the Headquarter has to again, okay, connect to that branch office. Okay, there has to uh, list line, okay, uh, implemented with this branch offices, and similarly, this branch offices has to connect it to branch one and also branch two. So, in fact, okay, whenever the the office, um, the branch office or the network grows, okay, the topology it it is somewhat mesh topology where each okay network is connected to all the other network or all the other branch offices okay so uh, whenever the the uh, the network grows in different location then list line has to implement it to, uh, separately for each branch offices or the business partner okay maybe the organization has now another business partner the okay? additional business partner then they have to create the list line which is okay uh, disadvantages okay let us see how so for better performance the organization may connect the branch office by using 128 kbps list line okay so in our in order for the better performance 128 okay uh the the bandwidth okay for for that list line is 128 kbps so the, so that the the transfer of information is faster okay but okay if the company wishes to expand then you need additional list line we already saw right we need additional list line which proves to be expensive solution okay so because of that one the list line 
has proved to be very expensive. Okay, for that, a newer solution was introduced, which is VPN. So VPN produce secure connection between two location. Okay, it provides the convenience of private network at lower cost as compared to least line. So in least line, we saw that, okay, it's a private network, right? The other, uh, there may be other network, let's say public network, which may not be aware of this network, okay? The, the, the network or the connection between the branch office one and branch office two, okay? So this VPN also provide similar to the uh, least line, okay? Which is a private network, but at lower cost compared to the list line. That's why, okay, we need VPN. That's why the need for the VPN was uh, there uh, compared to the uh, list line. It is found much more cheaper. Okay, let us define VPN, okay? So VPN can be defined as a virtual network that uses a public network, unlike the list line, okay, which does not use public network. It uses its own connection or the network, the private network. This is a private network. It uses its uh, own network or connection, which is a list line, okay. Whereas in case of the um, VPN, okay, it uses public network as a connection, okay, which builds a virtual network. Okay, that, that is similar to a private network through public network. Okay, so it provides network offices, uh, sorry, remote offices or individual user with secure access to the, uh, to their organization network. Okay, so similar to the lease line, okay, it also allows the uh, individual user who is working, okay, or who is constantly moving from place to place, or the business partner, or the uh, remote offices, like branch offices, okay, to have uh, access to the uh, network, uh, organization network, okay, without any uh, problem or any issue with the security, okay. So the infrastructure of VPN does not use physically late this line so in this line you saw that there's a physical right connection between the uh the, the the branch office and the headquarters right but in here okay it provides the same idea same concept okay but there is no physical lines connected from the uh branch office or the uh between the branch office and the headquarters in fact it uses the public network okay where it okay it creates a virtual network in the public network which is unaware to the other or the public okay so using the vpn branch office okay your business partner or mobile user can communicate with organizations confidentiality of our public network okay so let us see how it is done okay it maintains privacy through security procedure and tunneling Protocol. So it uses a security procedures and also tunneling pro uh, protocols, which helps the, uh, the, the, the data to be uh, confidential when the remote user connect or access the organization's network. Okay. Okay, let us uh, look at the VPN architecture first. So VPN architecture, it consists of three component, that is VPN server, VPN client, and internet infrastructure okay let us try and understand this one so uh, this is a vpn server okay and the vpn client can be the branch office or remote user which is okay mobile user which keeps on moving from place to place okay or your business partner so these are the vpn client the vpn client with the help of okay uh, the vpn server vpn client will connect through VPN server, which helps them in authenticating these uh, VPN client and then let them access the resources. Maybe it's a file server or any, okay. So the VPN client will be allowed to access the resources, network resources through VPN server, okay. And then the next uh, architecture is infrastructure. 
the internet infrastructure, which is your public internet. Okay, let me just try and understand each. So VPN server receives incoming connection requests from the various client, VPN client. So VPN client will send a request to the VPN server, okay? Where VPN server will then authenticate each client, whether check whether that particular client is an authenticated or authorized client, okay? Uh, that, that's not a random user or random uh, person in the internet, okay? So it authenticates, okay? And not only it authenticates the VPN client, okay, VPN server also act as a gateway for each VPN client to provide access to the various resources in the private network of the organization, okay? So when this VPN server, okay, authenticate and uh, uh, filters the uh, VPN client requests, okay, to make sure that okay, large number of connection requests are filtered or are met by the VPN server. Okay, you have to ensure that VPN server is equipped with recommended processor speed, memory configuration, and also fast Ethernet or the network card, okay, so that more and more uh, requests can be uh, handled by your VPN server. Okay, so this is. VPN server and also VPN server should be placed in the DMZ network. So we, we have already uh, looked uh, at DMZ in our previous chapters, right? Where we saw that DMZ usually uh, host the patient host, right? Which usually hosts uh, services like a web server or email server, etc. right? So VPN server is placed in DMZ network, but okay, however, it should not be kept with the internet DMZ. Okay, it should be separated from internet DMZ, your normal DMZ, which hosts the web server and email server, etc. Right? Let us see why. This is because VPN server allows access to the resources in the internal network of the organization to the trusted user. So what happens is okay, the, when the external user connects. To the uh, to the VPN server, right? If VPN server allows or authenticate, it will directly allow these uh, traffic to the internal network or internal uh, or the private network of the organization. Okay, which can be dangerous, which can affect the uh, the, the security of the network, right? So if it is mixed with the internet DMZ, right? What happens is, okay, uh, the internet DMZ usually hosts the services like web server, for example. So web server, all, everyone in the internet public, right? Can access this web server, right? So if it gets inside this uh, internet DMZ, right? And then if we have the, our web server also in this internet DMZ, then it, is higher risk okay uh, somehow if somebody gets access to the VPN server then it may be able or the, 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 the attacker may be able to get inside the internal network so that's why it has to be separated from the internal or internet DMs okay next one is VPN client okay so VPN client is a system that establishes a secure connection between the client system and the VPN server by using the internet as a medium okay so VPN client is a client uh, sorry is a system okay which established so it established a secure connection by sending a request to the VPN server through internet as a medium okay so when you say VPN client VPN client can be like i said it can be a remote user branch office okay or a mobile user which keeps on uh, moving from place to place or your business partner okay so this connection is established using protocols such as pptp and http so when okay the VPN client connects okay request sends a request to the VPN server and then when VPN server authenticates the uh VPN client okay a secure connection is established okay which is established through this protocol pptp and l2tp okay the last architecture is uh, internet architecture okay sorry internet infrastructure 
this internet infrastructure, which is in fact your public okay, in the network, refers to the internet that serve as the communication medium between the within client and within server. So it is the internet or the public network. Okay? So these are the three uh, network uh, VPN architecture, VPN client, okay, VPN server and VPN, uh, so internet infrastructure. 